My name is Prodigy. I got a rap group called Mob Deep. Um, thank everybody for coming out. Thank you. Yeah, I did, uh, you know, I did three years in prison. I just came home maybe two years and a half ago, maybe. Still on parole, almost off. Uh, so I know I know what it is about being locked up and all that. Plus, I had I was born with a, a deadly disease called sickle cell anemia, and you know that makes it super rough being locked up with that. So you know my experience in, in, in prison was different than most, but yeah, I went through it, and um, I learned a lot being locked up. You know, uh, I went in with the plan on getting my life together because growing up with sickle cell, you know. Uh, it, it was kind of different for me, man. It, it, you know, it, it made me uh, real angry at God, you know, for making me go through that pain. I was a young kid, I didn't understand why I was going through that. And, um, you know, I had, to, I had to learn. It took me a long, long time to learn that, uh, you know, everything happened for a reason in people's lives. And, and, and sometimes things happen for you to learn a lesson and for you to learn from it. And, um, you know, Right before I got locked up, I started learning a lot about health and diet and how, you know, uh, a lot of things that doc the doctors would never tell my, my parents about diet and lifestyle that, 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 could, that could actually almost, not, not, I ain't gonna say cure, but it does actually, you know, cure most ailments if you just change your diet and your, your way of thinking, you know what I mean, your lifestyle. So I had to learn that on my own just from reading and just from, you know, trial and error and just, and just uh, you know, experiencing different things, I had to learn. And right before I went to jail, I had learned that my diet was making me sick and the things I was doing, you know, was making me sick. So I started, you know, drinking a lot of water, eating a lot of green vegetables. I started reading about diet and reading about, you know, uh, you know, um, history, the history of food and different things like that, and just learning the different, the different foods that's out there and what foods are bad, what foods are good for you. And I started actually applying it to my life and doing that and eating the right things. And I started seeing that I wouldn't get sick anymore. You know, it actually worked. And I, the doctors never told me that, you know what I mean? And um, so right before I went to jail, I started learning all that. And I went in with the, with the mind state that, all right, I'm gonna go to jail. I gotta do this three years. You know, um, I had got caught with a illegal firearm in my car. You know, I wasn't out there running around robbing people. I wasn't out there, uh, you know, doing, you know, craziness. You know, I was actually carrying a gun to protect myself, you know, because I deal with a lot of jealousy in my career. You know, people want to rob me or they don't like me for whatever reason. They feel like I owe them something or whatever. So I would carry a gun to protect myself which I shouldn't have been doing. I shouldn't have been, I should have did it the right way and hire a bodyguard or whatever, you know, do the right thing. But a lot of times coming from where I'm from, you know, they, they laugh at things like that. Oh, you need a bodyguard or you, you scared to be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? So that's, that's how I grew up. And that's why I was carrying a gun. That's why I went to jail. So being locked up, I changed my life. You know, um, I changed my way of thinking. You know, I, I got myself in shape. I started working out every day. You know, um, I ate the right foods for the whole entire three years I was in there. I would get packages. I would get 35 pounds a month, and my whole entire 35 pounds would be green vegetables. It would be cans of green vegetables. And um, I, I, I never asked for snacks or nothing like that in, in, my, in my package. They, my, um, you know, my wife, she would just send me green vegetables. So I, I did that, drank mad water. You know, worked out. I got my mind together being locked up. I started reading a lot more about history and other things. And, um, you know, I came out, you know, with the intentions and with the plan on, you know, giving back and doing the right thing and coming out and talking to kids and talking to parents, and talking to people, you know, just humans about, you know, just doing the right things in life. You know, no matter what it is, like, you know, just doing the right things, man, being a good person, um, making the right choices in life, you know what I mean? So we don't have to risk going to jail, man. Um, you know, growing up where I came from, man, <clears throat> where, you know, where most of us all come from the hood that's in here, you know, um, it's, it's, it's real hard to do the right thing sometimes because you get a lot of peer pressure from your friends, 
you know, the, uh, you see how fast money, people sell drugs and make money real quick. You want nice things, you want this, that, and the third. And it's real easy to sell drugs or commit a crime and do something and get it. But um, you gotta change that. Or else we can't complain about, oh, the hood is like this and everything is messed up and all that. We gotta change our choices that we making out here. You know what I mean? And it starts with yourself. You know, so I, I, I'm speaking for myself, telling you the changes that I made within myself, you know what I mean? And I, I want to come out and just share my changes with everybody else. And maybe you can apply it to your life at, or pass it on to somebody else, you know what I mean? Um, so, yeah, so, I, you know, that's, that's what I've been doing, like. Um, you know, uh, Mr. Harper right here, Harper, you know, I've known him for a while. It's hard to come behind him. He, you had a great speech up there. You said some great things. I'm just like freestyling right now. But this is, I'm coming from the heart telling you how this, this is real. Like, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. All right, thank you. Um, the young lady came up here and, and uh, you know, said the thing about therapy, going to therapy. I had to go through therapy when I was young because of my sickle cell. I wanted to kill myself. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't even want to live anymore because I was tired of that pain. It's like so painful. I was just tired. I was like 12 years old and I wanted to kill myself. My mother came in my room and she saw me in the closet trying to cut my wrist with a steak knife. You know what I mean? And um, she made me go to therapy after that. And I was like, I don't go to no therapy. Like, you know what I mean? But she made me go and it was, I got a good thing out of it. It was a positive experience I got out of it because the therapist, he was cool. And it, it just gave me a chance to talk to somebody that was, you know, not my family member and just get an opinion from somebody else, you know, just to hear what they got to say. And it definitely helped. So, you know, I, I applaud her for coming up here and, and sharing that with everybody. But, um, yeah, man, basically, you know, uh, I got a rap group the name of the rap group is called Mob Deep. We've been putting out music since 1992, 93. And uh, thank you. And uh, the, you know, the music that we make is hardcore rap music. It's very hardcore rap music. Um, and I would like to say that a lot of people might, you know, pre prejudge us just the fact that because it's, it's hardcore, as soon as you hear it, you can tell, like, oh, this is like, I don't want to hear that. Turn that off. That's too hard. They, they curse it too much or whatever. But if you really listen to the words that I say in my songs, there's a serious message in every single song that I make. Because I know that the, what you put out there to the world, that's going to come back at you. It's called karma. And what goes around comes around. That's just how nature works. That's how life works. So you can't put out bad messages and bad energy, you know? So, you know, I really, really, when I, as I got older with my music, as I, you know, I got in my mid twenties, I started really focusing on, and I, when I start, when I seen the success that we had over of like Shook Ones and our, like our first album, I started really, really putting my focus on putting the right message within the hardcore music still without having to lose our fan base. You know, and that was a little task for me, but I enjoy doing that. I enjoy putting the, the message in the, in the lyrics. You know, that's, that's like a challenge for me. And if you check the songs out, you're gonna pick that up. I don't know if you've ever picked it up before, but if you check our songs out, you'll pick it up now that I told you that. You know what I'm saying? And um, yeah, so I just wanna thank everybody for coming out. You know, um, shout out to Chris Barrett from sendapackage.com, you know. In, in, in arms reach, you know, he got a, he got a, a great program going for inmates that's locked up, you know, uh, so they can get their packages. It makes it real easy for the families to send their loved ones their packages up top and all that. Um, thank you, everybody for, that came up here and spoke earlier, you know, um, yeah, that's it. One love, y'all. All right. We'll do, we're gonna we'll do a little song if you don't mind up here. Right. It's set up. Oh, I think they gotta uh, put the speakers on. I don't know. All right, so anyway, while I was doing that, I'll talk a little more. Yeah, uh, I'll, talk, I'll tell you a little something about my family background. Uh, my, my grandmother, 
She, she's like pretty big time. She was uh, one of the first Cotton Club dancers. And she started this dance company called Bernie's Johnson Dance School in Jamaica, Queens. And um, she, she uh, created a lot of jobs for the people in her community over there in Queens. She's from South Jamaica Projects. You know, all like all my whole family's from there, my father, my mother, my grandmother, my grandparents, everybody. And, um, you know, she, I, I saw her build her business because when, when by the time I was born, she already had her business up and running for a good 10 years or whatever, 15 years, however long it was. And so I experienced just watching her build her business and seeing how she would hire, you know, her, her, all her friends and, and certain people in the community to help her build a business and help it become more than just a dance business. She turned into a, like a cultural arts thing. And she used to teach me about black history. And she used to teach me how important it is for, you know, for black people and people of color to own their property and own their business. And she, she taught me so much about business and about learning about who you are and who you, and, and your history that, you know, I'll never forget that. And that's, I think that she, I definitely know that she's like one of the biggest influences in my whole life. You know, uh, rest in peace to her. And um, she's definitely the reason why I'm able to still be able to, to do what I do after so long. We've been in the game for over 20 years and I'm still, still passionate about it. I still put that passion into everything that I do. You know, um, writing a verse, coming out here to talk to y'all, uh, talk to a kid about health, about diet, just anything that I do, I try to put my heart and my soul in it and really do it well. And I learned that from my grandmother, you know what I mean? So the things, you know, the things that we do, that affects the next generation, man. You know, I see some young people in the audience. Um, you know, that's, that's why I came out here tonight, because maybe something that I say, maybe that has set something off in your brain. You know what I mean? And maybe, and maybe you can learn from it. You know, and you remember, like, yo, remember that dude was talking, boom, oh, boom, oh, yeah. I remember he said that. Now I understand what he said. You know what I mean? Um, so I, now I'm just understanding that things my grandma used to teach me when I was a kid. You know, so it's very important, man, for us to, you know, just do positive things in life, man, and make the right choices in life and help others. Like, be a good person. You know what I mean? Don't be... Don't be, you know, cut the evilness out, man. Like, it's unnecessary, like, completely. Help people, like, you know? Everybody doesn't deserve help. Sometimes you gotta know when to step back. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta know when to walk away and get yourself out of that circle of so-called friends. You know what I mean? Sometimes you gotta walk away from people. But you, you, everybody in here is smart enough to know when it's time to do that. You can just feel it inside of you. You know what I mean? You can feel when somebody actually needs your help for real. And you know, it it helps change the entire world if you just help somebody, be kind to somebody, you know what I mean? And do the right things in life as individuals. And then, you know, as a collective, it all makes sense at the end of the day, you know, and it helps change everything. So yeah, that's my message for tonight. Thank y'all for coming out. Yeah. This song called Quiet Storm right here. Check it out. Yo, I put my lifetime in between the paper's lines. I'm the quiet storm who fight rhyme. P, yeah, you heard of him, but I ain't concerned with them. I pop more than you holding them. Make my route while the sun out. Scold your man, a low chain. In broad daylight, get right. F your life. Hop on my 98 dirt bike. Try to stop mine from growing. I'll make your blood stop flowing. Take affirmative action. Anybody if they asking, here come the Mac, yo. Use a, uh, trying to speak the done language with the drilly with that though. It ain't Banging. You're hooked on ball phonics, infamous phonics Line to the pop dog like you got it You ain't no wildin' out for the night fish store Rusty Shank Holo, we lit this, yo It's the real Say what, say what Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop Yeah, Mom D, Mom D spit that The real Say what, say what Hip hop, hip hop, hip hop, hip hop 
Yo, check it, yo Yo, the P-Rock, 40-inch cable Drinking white label, my chain hang down Yo, my peace bang glass table Diamonds and guns, for the thing do Nigga, me ho check You the same two going through the emotions Holding long Damn, my pants leg limping Killer B, you still living Even my pops too, he taught me how to shoot when I was seven I used to bust shots crazy Couldn't even look cause the loud sound used to scare me I love my pops for that Love my nigga, he black Take the life of anybody trying to change what's left And through all of that, ain't scared to death All y'all brand new, just scared to death I spent too many nights sniffing coke, getting right Wasting my life, now I'm trying to make things right Grant open some gates, invest in the rag business Do things for the kids Build a jungle gym behind the crib so they can enjoy youth CBRs and VCRs, ATVs and big screen TVs Please, you make me risk my freedom We worked our whole life for this Yo, the real, uh, yo it's the real That make you feel, lump them in the club How you wildin' out when you bump this drug to your edge on the wrong cut Have them OD cause it's never enough It's the real, that make you feel, lump them in the club How you wildin' out when you bump this drug to your edge on the wrong cut Have them OD cause it's never enough It's the real Yeah, yeah, yeah Alright, thank you, thank you